Welcome back YouTube and today we're here with a tournament session and in today's video we're going to highlight the $109 buy-in at 10k guaranteed daily on BetMGM Michigan. Starting stack for this tournament is 50,000 chips. Uh, get jammed on for 170 big blinds so we are going to be folding. Small blind limits we're going to raise up the queen jack. See the call flop top pair here and put a bet out. And they go for a massive check raise here. So this is really tight. Uh, this player's stats, although limited, doesn't give me the idea they're very aggressive. Um, so like they wouldn't check raise a worse hand for value and they aren't likely necessarily to do 10 nine, especially this big. This just seems like afraid of cards to come. Uh, so even though blind reply we have top pair and this seems insane we're just gonna be folding open eights get two calls and we flop mass so we flop the full house here jack jack eight um a lot of times you're gonna check back here but multi-way like there's a lot of draws out here they're still gonna call one um so i think we can still bet uh whereas like sometimes in these spots you're just gonna want to slow play uh, deuce on the turn, gonna go for just under half pot. Same sort of thing here. I think like their nine ten, their diamonds are still probably gonna call anyways, and it helps build a pot when we are up against a jack, or when they can maybe hit the river card here, and the pot will be bigger. And great news here on the turn, uh, puts in the raise. So I'm trying to decide if I want to think and just jam here because again, I don't want their jack to get scared, but I also don't think they're gonna fold it if they have it, even if some draw comes in. So just gonna flat here and then take it to the river. Uh, oh my gosh, a jack on the river, are you kidding me? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is incredible. So, now we don't have a hand that we're super confident in. Um, I didn't even think of this, like, obviously the two jacks are just going to be awful. Um, so the thing is, like, I uh, are they ever bluffing? I guess for value, they're never betting anything but a jack here, so I don't need to worry about like the overpairs or nines and tens. So I guess I just have to call with draws missing, but it's really annoying on this river. <laughs> Ooh, that ace three. So they had a complete bluff. We keep the bluff in and still want a nice pot. We're gonna limp. We raise cutoff button flats back over to the limper here. See a call. So we're gonna go three ways to the flop with aces. And going to bet small here on the 10 8 deuce. And get raised pretty big here. Um, I think sometimes you're going to have some draws here, some people overvaluing a 10 a bit. So I don't think there's, we're ever folding. And with as much money in, we're just going to jam it in. Hopefully ahead and winning and hold. Has 8 7, and we do hold. Massive pot there gets us up to 107k. So cut off open, we're in a three-back queen jack suited. See a call. Uh 10, 8, 7. I'm gonna find a check back here. Eight on the turn. Gonna go for a delayed C bet now. River a pair on a four liner. We'll check. Hope we're good. And we are queen jack. Good versus ace queen. I was very lucky. That one queen jack called by the button here. Going to check ace queen nine. Check the turn. And block the river here. And had a nine deuce offsuit. So the old good blackjack hand. Not sure about poker hand, but a good blackjack hand uh, takes us down there. Two limps in front of us here. We're going to raise up ace jack from the low jack. And get one call. Two calls. See a small lead. I uh, think about just raising this. Yeah, I'm just going to raise this here. At best, they probably have some like middling pair. They might call one, but I think we can get them off on turns quite often. The only thing is like this player can still have some hands behind too. Um, 
So if they get involved, we're gonna shut down quite often. But if it ends up like heads up with this person, I think we're gonna start betting pretty heavily. And they just fold, so we take it down. Under the gun limp here, we're gonna raise low jack with the queens and get two calls. Flop a set here, ace queen six, huge flop. Uh, they decide to lead here. I think with middle set, I'm gonna raise this here and some draws out there, especially versus two opponents. So we'll go ahead and raise up to about half here. Let's see what the limper does. Calls jack on the turn. And it goes small again. I'm uh, gonna raise here and then oh, I just really don't want to see a king or a 10. Even diamonds aren't great, but we have a diamond at least. So yeah, I'm gonna raise pretty big here. Go for another half pot. Eight of spades river, clean run out. Just don't have king 10. And they go for the shrimp bet yet again. And we're gonna be all in here with our set. Has ace, a deuce, massive pot there for us in the 109.10k. Hijack limps their short stack. We raise button ace king. See the call, they only have 3k back. We're calling anything. Jack 10. And Jack 10 is going to get us. The so open ace jack suited, small blind flats. Big blind jams were just slightly more. We can't re raise, so we're just going to be flatting. And flop the ace. Ace 8 7. I'm going to go small here. Up against ace three, and we get a full house by the end of it. So, undergun limps, we raise the call. And go small here. Calls five turn will check and river jack. So, river a little bit of showdown here. Um, probably calling if we see a bet. And if they check, I think we can go for thin value. So, we'll go for a little under half pot here. And it goes in the tank a bit and folds. All right, and we are post late registration in the 109 at 10K. So 32 of 105 entries remain. Top 14 get paid at least 162. First place, $3,097. Uh, Versus limp, 27 bigs effective. We'll check back. 10.55. Going to go with a bet here. All five turn. I would try to barrel some turns. I don't think this is going to be one of them, though. I think this will be a check. Ten river. So potentially playing the board now. Uh, they bet there are some chops there. We kind of sick if we raised here, but I think I'm going to just call in hope we're chopping. So we're going to call 16 to win 20. Uh, they can have some pairs. I'm hoping they have like an ace high here. Doesn't feel great, but I think we can call a chop. Oh. Actually, where's a big size? Their stats aren't super aggressive. I'm going to fold here. Here we have two limbs. We'll check big blind king eight of hearts. Flop the king high flush draw on an ace high board. I'm probably going to... I don't know if I'll check raise race though or not. I'm trying to think. I think we will. Yeah, I'm just going to check jam, hoping they're going to have some folds here. If we get called, just get there. We're in the big line. I mean, they're not going to fold an ace, but they have to be worried. About, I can have a three here. I'd play this way. And this is like the one bluff I'll have that would check jam. As ace queen even tanked a little bit and called, um, unfortunately. Hits their aces full. Um, but I think there, with that much money in, we're better off just check jamming rather than check calling a big bet. Eleven blinds here, limper in front. I'm gonna jam here, hoping we get this through a decent amount. And that's not gonna happen. Small blind rejams is not good. As ace king, 
Oh, it's not looking good. And we're going to be out of the 109 at 10K. Unfortunately, not going to cash out in 26th place. All right, YouTube, that wraps up a tournament session here today. So unfortunately, we only got a couple small caches. So we're in for nine entries, 419 in buy-ins, 169 in caches, loss of 250 on the session. Couldn't get quite enough going in our bigger buy-ins tonight, unfortunately. So we did book a little bit of a loss, but not all for not. We did get a few caches. So if you guys did enjoy today's video on YouTube, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I post that schedule weekly at Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, both on my Twitter page and on the Twitch schedule tab.